This is Maxwell House coffee. These are wood pellets, like are for a wood stove. Quick start pellet fuel. Okay. So we're now just going to What you do it. when you start your smoker, right? Uh, this is the easier way of doing it. Okay. That looks like a brand new smoker. Yeah, let them burn for a little bit. Okay. You got this at Bushy Mountain? Uh, no, I got that from uh, Man Lake. Man Lake. Man Lake it's Quick it, Start it's Smoker it's Starters. It's in your Man Lake. It's a real easy way to start. And then that's what, cotton? This is just uh, cotton. Raw cotton? Cotton fiber. Cotton fiber. Also from Man Lake? You can get it from Man Lake or you can get it from Brush Your Mountains. Got it. This came from Man Lake. Okay. Now, once you get your part going like that, put your start first and then your cotton. Put your few wood pellets in it. Okay. And we're, we're getting smoke ready because we're about to open the top up. And, when, and it's hot out here. And it's and hot and they're probably they're going to be a irritable. little irritable. This is a full start, so here's your lighter right in here. I know you don't smoke. No. What happens when you close it up, the bar goes out and then it just smolders. Okay. For maybe a half an hour. It depends on how you build it is how long you want to use it. Okay. You can build it to last all day if you want. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's go up back here. And you're putting a, a little, little bit in the front. I'm not putting another note over here. Using your hive tool to get the mm -hmm. outer lid open. Right. You got some bees in there. And incidentally, it's Memorial Day weekend. It's actually Memorial Day, May 31st, and it's exactly 32 days since we set these hives up. And I'll hold on to this. Mm -hmm. Should I keep blowing? When I open this, we have a little shot. sudden movements. Pushing down in there. There's some great noise going on in here. Sounds like a lot of busy bees. Ooh, look at that. Well, we definitely don't have to put another soup on. Okay. So you're going to have run out of space. There are a bunch of bees buzzing around. So we don't have honey yet. Not quite. They got it drawn out, but they don't have it capped yet. Okay. Probably another two or three weeks before they start capping it out. They will yeah. cap it in two to three weeks? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, well, this was, this was actually with, you know, pretty painless. What okay. makes you decide to put only one instead of, instead of putting two? N more super. Well, you got big. one on here already. See, this is a super here. Right. And these are the more aggressive bees. Uh, these are more aggressive. So just keep, you want me to keep smoking? Just a little, little bit. The smoke calms the okay. bees down. That's good. Calms me down too, actually. These, some of these are kept. Why is it unbelievable? Because this is so to far. To be long. this far along, the In one month's been, time. One month's time. This is more like a five or six month setup. Wow. Do you think it's because you set all this up with um, uh, supers that have already been drawn? Well, that's about 50% of it. Okay. But you got a location here, and it's, it's rare for it to be that far along. 
spring, what you're going to have to do here, probably going to have to split these. Take two or three frames out of there that's got grown cone in it. Young bees, brood, would have been in a box. But it's not your queen. And you start to the out. But they, they're called nukes. When you take them out of there, that's what they call a nuke. Okay. It's got everything already, already done. Already done. All we got to do is put a queen in there and they take off. Okay, okay great. Definitely got a location here. We have a good location here. Location, location, location. When I come down to take the honey off, take the honey off, put these back on. Okay. They're already drawn. Okay. All you gotta do is fill them out. Okay. So uh, it's a swap. Yeah. And you're gonna take those supers back to your place and, and put it in a centrifuge. Right. And you're gonna spin them. And then you'll have those new frames put back in in August, which is better because you still have a honey residue on them, okay. and they really take off okay. See, these honey has been all out of these. Okay. But, I noticed that you have another queen excluder in there. Where, did you just have that in there I by chance? I just had it in there. I okay. take it out sometimes when you take them, open them up, the queen screws are filled up with uh, beeswax. You've got to try to keep it open. Okay. So if I find one that's really clogged up, I'll you just, just swap it out. Swap it out. Okay. Put a clean one in. Okay. Now, I had the uh, occasion last year, I put in 12 packages like we did here. Okay. And I put them in in April. And at the end of July, the first part of August, they wouldn't even this close. I'd be able to put this, these are right now. Wow. So I, I think because it, maybe it's so quiet and peaceful here. Well. I don't think it's that as much as something here that they're thriving on. I don't know what it is. The men get the flowers and the locusts. They like locusts. The, the uh, trees, you're saying? It's something that they found. It could be over somewhere else. Okay. Uh, Within a five mile radius. They will travel, they say, five miles, but uh, my guess is about two miles. Okay. And they could be going across the bay finding some sort of. You never know. They there, that's too far over there. Well, and being right up against the water, uh, I wonder if that would be helpful too. It's a combination of water things. Got to be. Okay. So just go, that's just not going. And they're so heavy. Now, down in the bottom, those houses are way more than 10 feet. Right. The that's big, the double, the brood, the brood box. They built up down inside so heavy. Okay. And that's unusual. Very unusual. So you guys, did you guys test that? To I tried to pick oh, okay. Try to pick one up. And it's very, very heavy. Very that means that a lot of bees are living in there, right? I'd say each one of those has probably got thirty-five to forty thousand bees in there. That's normal. Okay. They're a good, healthy hive. They say thirty-five to forty. But some cases, depends on how big you build them. This is. Uh, in the June, you could be surprised when you see it. Okay, we're going to have a honey fest. <laughs>